Extended Kalman Filter Kalman Filter addresses the general problem of trying to estimate the state of a first order, discrete time controlled process that is governed by a linear difference equation. But what happens if the process to be estimated and the measurement relationship to the process is nonlinear? Some of the most interesting and successful applications of Kalman filtering have been such situations. A Kalman filter that linearizes about the current mean and covariance is referred to as an extended Kalman filter or EKF. Let us assume a process that is governed by the nonlinear difference equation. 1.1, 1.2. Again the random variables W and V represent the process and measurement noise respectively. In practice, individual values of W and V cannot be known. However, one can approximate the state and measurement vectors without them as 1.3, 1.4, where XK is some a posteriori estimate of the state from a previous time step K. To estimate a process with nonlinear difference and measurement relationships, we begin by writing new governing equations that linearize an estimate about 1.3 and 1.4, 1.5, 1 1.6, where xk and zk are the actual state and measurement vectors. x tilde k and z tilde k are the projected actual state and measurement vectors from 1.3 and 1.4. X hat k is an a posteriori estimate of the state at step k, the random variables w k and v k represent the process and measurement noise as in, 1.3, and, 1.4. A is the Jacobian matrix of partial derivatives of f with respect to x, w is the Jacobian matrix of partial derivatives of f with respect to w, h is the Jacobian matrix of partial derivatives of h with respect to x. V is the Jacobian matrix of partial derivatives of H with respect to V. Now we define a new notation for the prediction error and the measurement residual. 1.7, 1.8, using 1.7 and 1.8, with definition of approximate of the state and measurement vectors that is given in 1.5 and 1.6, respectively. We can write the governing equations for an error process as 1.9. 1.10, where and represents new independent random variables having zero mean and covariance matrices. Notice that the equations, 1.9, and, 1.10, are linear, and that they closely resemble the difference and measurement equations from the discrete Kalman filter. This motivates us to use the actual measurement residual in, 1.8 and second Kalman filter to estimate the prediction error given by 1.9. This estimate could then be used along with 1.7 to obtain the a posteriori state estimates for the nonlinear process as 1.11, letting the predicted value of E hat K to be zero. EKF equation used to estimate is 1.12 by substituting 1.12 back into 1.11 and making use of 1.8 equation 1.13 can now be used for the measurement update in the UKF with and coming from 1.3 and 1.4 and the Kalman gain coming from discrete Kalman gain with the appropriate substitution for the measurement error covariance the complete set of EKF equations can be shown as in the table the disadvantages of EKF can be listed as, it can only handle limited amount of nonlinearity, linearization can be applied only if the Jacobian matrix exists, even though there is, it can be hard to derive and it is difficult to tune. Thanks for listening.